The brand new 2025 Ford Ranger Raptor is about to go on sale here in the US. We didn't get the previous generation, which sort of never really made sense to me. So what we're going to do in this video is compare the Ranger Raptor to the Colorado ZR2. And I'm going to let you know which one I would buy mostly based on the design, but we're also going to have to factor in some of the spec and tech here. So let's have a look at just that from this article from the drive. I'm going to link this down in the description. So how the 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor is actually a 2024, but I do think it will go in sales at 2025 model year here. How that compares to the Chevy Colorado ZR2. And here you can see both of them. I think both of them are, are good looking trucks. I mean, they look cool. They're both, so here are the similarities, and there was a lot of similarities between these two trucks. They're both mid-sized crew cab pickups of nearly the same dimensions, with similar weights and beds of about the same size. Each has a turbo engine making 430 pound-feet of torque, top shelf off-road dampers, skid place to armor their engines, and two-speed four-wheel drive transfer cases. You have locking diffs front and rear in both of these trucks, solid axles in the back, and identical ground clearance at 10.7 inches. So you can see just how similar these two trucks are, and both of them also roll on 33-inch 285 tires with 17-inch beadlock capable wheels, which is an option for both of these trucks. Now here is, are the, the proper specs for the Ranger Raptor. You have a three liter twin turbo V6 and a 10 speed automatic. Horsepower 405 and 430 pound feet of tor torque as we just talked about. You can see the payload numbers here and the towing capacity as well. Off-road angles and keep in mind these angles because if we look at the Colorado ZR2, it has better off-road angles. So it's designed to be more of a crawler than the Ford uh, Ranger Raptor and it also has the 2.7 liter turbocharged inline four with an eight speed automatic instead of the 10 speed for the Ford. You also have 310 horsepower compared to 405 for the Ranger Raptor. There's a big difference there and the payload and the towing, you can see that here as well. So the Colorado ZR2 has significantly better approach angle of 38.3 degrees compared to Ford's 33 and I don't really think that matters in 99.5% of uh, you know, driving cases. And it also has better tow rating at 6,000 pounds compared to Ford's 5,500 and comes in a hair lighter with a slightly larger bed. However, the Raptor makes some mighty convincing arguments. For example, you do have compared to the Chevy's 2.7 liter, as I said, it makes almost 100 horsepower more and it can also use two more gears with a 10 speed compared to the 8 speed for the ZR2. And the underbody protection is also steel instead of aluminum for the ZR2 and armors the fuel tank as well. The Raptor offers a significantly better payload rating at 1400 pounds compared to Chevy's just 1150. So 1152 pounds for the Chevy's payload. The conclusion uh, of this article from the drive is that the Chevy is more of a trail crawler while the Raptor is for when you get the zoomies and want to go fast in the desert, for example. So with that said, let's jump into Photoshop here, have a look at both of these trucks. I'm really excited that the Ranger Raptor is coming to the US because when I bought my Ram Rebel, I wanted, I wanted a Ranger Raptor. That was my first choice, but it wasn't for sale here in the US. If this was for sale when I bought my uh, Rebel, I would probably go for this one, if I'm honest. So up top, we have the Ranger Raptor here. And I do think it looks very nice because we have a clear starting point up top. We have these lights that feels like they're sort of clamped on to the side, the two clamps on the side of the grill. And in the, what, it's cl what they are clamping is this big Ford uh, Raptor logo or grill in the middle. It just looks very cool. If you look at the LEDs here though, what this reminds me of these days is the LED styling of Kias where they have thin LEDs going all around except for in the very corners. You can see that we do have a thicker piece of LED right there looking very nice. This uh, Ford grill, some people like it some people dislike it because they feel like the four letters are maybe too big in the front end but i think it definitely suits the overall design of a raptor to have that because that's what they've had since the beginning i also love this chamfer every single raptor model of ford 
have this uh, added chamfer on, right next to the to the headlights because it is wider than a normal Ford Ranger and you also need to visualize that somehow and I do love that they just simply create a massive chamfer going around the headlights right here you have that in the f-150 raptor more pronounced as well further down look at this a proper skid plate at the bottom in silver i do think it has an it's nice to have this being a contrast color from uh, the rest of the body and i also like this militaristic green color that we have going on for the raptor looking fantastic in the front and very beautiful design and it feels like ford is are having a lot of fun designing cars these days just based on the sketches that they put out for their cars now looking at the zr2 here now this bar in the front end is optional and i think maybe i would pick i'm not sure if i would choose that it looks pretty cool but it also hides a lot of the design in the front end it does come with two integrated fog lights or uh, auxiliary lights down there you see we still have a clear starting point like we have in the raptor as well with this line at the top very sculpted hood here adding some muscle to this design i like the headlight design as well the indicator as you can see is just a regular light bulb while in the raptor i do believe this is the indicator which is an led light it could also be this whole entire light bar being the indicator i'm not entirely sure but it is led you also have a massive led up here very simplistic styling for the headlight unit of the zr2 but we still have sort of a similar chamfer that we have in the ranger raptor going around the sides of the colorado zr2 the zr2 overall when i look at these two designs it feels maybe a little more messy a little bit more transformer like in the front end which is not a bad thing for this specific uh, type of truck i kind of like this black graphic that we have in the middle as well not sure about the this piece that sticks down into the body i want to remove that and have that be blue and connect uh, properly with the rest of the side of the panel in this area we have a nice intake here which i do believe is functional at least i hope so further down you can see the red tow hooks and we also have the aluminium skid plate in this case instead of the steel one that we had in the raptor which is obviously a benefit for the raptor now looking at the side view here we do have 33 inch wheel uh, tires for both of these and i i would not go up to 35s for this package this mid-size truck if it was a full-size truck for example my ram came with 33s i immediately had to switch those out to 35s just to make the proportions make the wheels fill out the wheelhouses better and i do think with 33s with these two trucks here look great you can see we have the beadlock capable uh, wheels or optional wheels or, uh, for the ranger but the uh, zr2 down here does not have that even though it is an option for it the proportions of both of these look really great they look like a proper three box design we have the first box being the front end and then the second box being the greenhouse right here third box obviously being the bed and we have some nice line flow in both of these cars look at this line here for example at the lower section if we continue this line you can see that it does have a connection in the side and then it goes around into the bumper as well you have the raptor uh, logos here we have another cool line from the corner of the taillight going here and then dipping down in this area into sort of you can maybe make a connection if you're really stretching it to the lower section of the uh, side view we also have i do believe this is a functional air outlet it might, i might be wrong there but this is also something that has to do with the raptor design this being a wider fender they added some graphics onto that to make it uh, more pronounced as well now looking at the zr2 down here super chiseled design and this has almost the exact same body panels as the gmc canyon 84x which i reviewed on the sketch monkey channel you can go and check that video out but i do love the line flow here as well we have a nice line at the bottom still has a connection same as we have in the raptor to the rear end but then we have these chiseled uh, sculptured uh, lines that we have in the surfacing looking very cool and creates super nice reflections in this design no matter what angle you look at it from it's always going to be a new sort of reflection the the way it, depending on what type of angle you're looking at this for but we still have obviously the three box design intact for the um, zr2 as well looking really cool i also like the taillight graphics you can see how similar the taillights are 
in the next slide when we look at the rear view between these two trucks. Greenhouse feels maybe actually they feel pretty smooth in both of these because we have a nice curvature going here and then abruptly cuts off just like you want to have in a truck like this. 10.7 inch ground clearance for both of these trucks so there's no difference there but you don't have the same amount of protection underneath the ZR2 like you have on the Raptor. Now looking at the rear view now there's one detail here that uh, definitely makes me favor the uh, Ranger Raptor and that if you watch my videos before I'm sure you're gonna know what that is that has to do first of all look at how clean this line is and how this goes in to the corner here we also have the same line down here as I said cutting in and creating this beautiful little chamfer at the bottom creating a nice base for the overall uh, graphics for the rear end we have the Ranger uh, logo or letters stamped in to the tailgate itself full LED taillights looking very cool and dynamic I think the sizing of these taillights looks nice as well they're pretty big for this type of truck you have the Raptor up here and the Raptor on the side as well but further down we do have symmetrical exhaust pipes and this is a huge deal for me I love when uh, Ford does this with their Tremor and the Raptor uh, products to have two symmetrical bazooka pipes sticking out in the rear steel bumper here and the thing about the suspension here in the rear is that you do have coil springs for the Raptor compared to leaf springs in the ZR2 that might be something to consider as well if you're picking if you're choosing between these two trucks now looking at the rear end of the Colorado it feels a little bit more simplistic the design of the tail of the um, tailgate than we have for the Ranger still a nice looking design now look at the graphics of the taillights here and just how similar these two are we have both this element up top then almost mirrored symmetrically to the lower section pretty much a, a very the same style that we have for the ZR2 here we have the Colorado in black here I do think having this be blacked out is an option for the Colorado and you have this optional bar mounted on the bed as well but the most important thing here and where you're obviously going to spend most of your time around this truck is going to be in the interior so let's check out the interior of the new Ranger Raptor and the interior of the ZR2. So up top we do have the Ranger interior looking great. I love pretty much. I can't see anything that I dislike about this interior. Maybe the steering wheel could have looked a bit more modern than this. This feels like a nine, uh, 2005 Focus style steering wheel. It feels a little dated in its styling, but I do like that they make it special by adding the Raptor logo down there at the bottom and also this center line piece at the very top. You have a full a digital gauge cluster I do believe this is a 12.3 inch gauge cluster a huge screen and the thing about this is this is a great integration of this screen and it's a lot easier to make an integration of a screen this big when you have a truck because it's mostly very static and architectural design uh, straight lines and vertical lines so it's a lot easier to have a nice integration of a big screen like this in a truck design and I do think Ford did a fantastic job integrating this you can see that it feels like we have both the ch you have a choice of uh, either adjusting the temperature using the software in this lower section which I do believe is always going to be static at the bottom of the screen but I feel like these dials is, are probably also for the climate control uh, setting and the temperature at least you have the buttons for the fan speed here and some other AC buttons so this is a very good integration you get the choice do you want to use a software or do you want, just want to use a simple dial to adjust your temperature beautifully done by Ford you also have these paddles for the 10 speed automatic behind the wheel overall this this color accent the orange that comes back the Raptor orange accent color in the interior looking great as well and now looking at the ZR2 here it feels still like a very clean uh, and nice design to be in but it just doesn't feel as sporty as the Ford Rap the Ranger, uh, Ranger Raptor I do believe this feels more like a luxury truck when I look at the materials and the overall styling but the good news is here that we still have a lot of physical buttons and this is just beautiful when you I love when you have a dial like this and then you have the temperature in a specific display within the dial that is the optimal solution for a temperature dial 
in my opinion. You have a lot of more buttons down here, for example, the, the, the lockers, the automatic shutoff for the engine, you have the uh, exhaust pipe here as well, nicely integrated vents. The screen here looks a little bit more stylized than the Ford because the Ford just sits pretty much vertically integrated in the dash. Here we have a little bit more styling around this. It still looks good, still a decent integration, but not as good as we have in the Ford uh, Ranger Raptor. The steering wheel also, I think the steering wheel looks better in the ZR2. It just feels a little bit more upscale, but both of these house their gauge cluster in a, such a beautiful classic way, even though they are both digital. One thing I really dislike about the Colorado ZR2 and the GMC Canyon is that you can't adjust the light, the headlight settings with a stock. So the only stock you have here is for the indicator and the windshield wipers. You need to actually go into the software up here to adjust the light settings if you need to do that for some reason. So which one of these would I personally buy? For me, it's going to have to be the Ranger Raptor. As I said, I was a fan of the previous one. This new one feels like it's a huge step forward because the old one has been around for a very long time. And I also like this the more simplistic design in the front end. And we do have the coil springs in the rear and we have a 10 speed automatic more power even though the uh, off-road angles are not as good as the zr2 i would still go for the ford ranger raptor in this case 